Breaking news right now, the Georgia Secretary of State's office just announcing a news conference that they're starting via Zoom. It's really to update us on the hand counting tally for presidential votes here in Georgia. As we know, some counties still weren't finished yet. Uh, let's go right to that Zoom now and listen in to the Secretary of State's you office. It, at least you can type something into the chat and I can try to see you for a question. And we'll try to go onesie twosie on these things so people aren't talking over each other. Um, Again, I think everybody's been let in. I do have one question for y'all. I'm gonna unmute them if I can find them again. Somebody has the name, are we there yet? And I let them in, but now they seem to have disappeared, so. Okay, it's 517. And again, this is a little awkward looking at a, t at a camera on my computer. Um, and I hope the lighting's okay, but it's the best I could do in my dining room. So let's see. I think that's, <laughs> I meant to let people in occasionally still. All right. So let's go out of the gate real quick and talk about the thing that's obviously breaking news right now, the situation in Floyd County, where they found 2,600 ballots that they did not upload on election night. Um, 26,000? Again, this is why you do the audits. There's no issues with any of the equipment or anything. They just didn't scan these ballots, it looks like, or the card was, was not put through properly. So the secretary, since this is such an amazing blunder and they, they had issues in August, would like to see that elections director for Floyd County uh, step down from his position because this was too important of an issue to have allowed to happen this way. Um, it does change the margin by about 800 or so, it appears. We already have an investigator looking into what happened in, in the situation as to why it happened. But obviously the secretary in our whole office is perturbed to say the least that this uh, was allowed to happen in that county. It is the only county we've seen an issue like this so far. And it looks like it was an early vote, half of an early vote box essentially that did not get uploaded into their election night reporting system. And again, it's unfortunate, but it's not an equipment issue. Again, it's a person not executing their job properly. And, and they've been hit with several things. We know that, but this is the kind of situation that re requires, I think, a change at the top of their management side. And similarly, uh, I think we've announced this, but I want to make it very clear. There's two specific instances in Fulton County that we are investigating. One is how the water leak was handled on the morning of the election and through that day. We have some ideas and then, but we're trying to track it all the way down. And the second thing is on election night, when observers looked like they were asked to leave and counting continued for a period of time. I know our investigators are looking into that and they are tracking down the information. We've gotten the video tape from State Farm Arena. We've got some other videotapes, still taking statements to get everybody's things in there, but we're investigating Fulton for those two specific instances that I'm aware of right now. Another thing that's out there that I'm gonna go about trying to explain is this not reality again, is this thing about our office weakening signature match. It didn't, it actually strengthened signature match and it allowed people more time, better notification if there was an issue of either missing a signature or a mismatch signature. And to put some, some context to it, we got some numbers from, in 2016, there were 246,000 absentee ballots of which there were 580 that had missing or inaccurate oath info. It basically means the signature wasn't there or it was wrong. In 2018, there were 454 out of 284,000. And in 2020, there's 2,011 out of 1.3 million. So it's running around that 0.15%. Now, what you also have to realize is there's been a big change since 2014, 16, and 18. That was started building in 18 was once a ballot is on in the system as having an issue, there are teams of Republicans and Democrats out there finding people who are on, you know, that they per perceive to be on their side of the aisle going to help them cure these ballots. And we saw that a lot this time. So there were more ballots that would have been rejected, but they were accepted. And I know in uh, Fulton County, we had a large amount of them come in. We had an investigator go and look at it. They had the voter ID. They had photocopies of the voter IDs to go with the ones that they were curing. They were, had been missing signatures or had invalid signatures. So nothing we're seeing here shows any kind of vast issue around th this situation of, of absentee signature matching. It's just another canard that's not true. Uh, another thing that happened is people are trying to say that Dominion voting systems 
have somehow switched votes or lost votes. And again, this audit is showing that, and I'll go into some of those numbers in a second, but as an example, in Pennsylvania, they used Dominion voting systems in 14 counties. In those 14 counties, there was 1.3 million votes cast, and that's about a 76% overall turnout. And the claim was that somehow Dominion deleted 946,000 ballots. They would have had to have had 160% turnout to allow for the 946,000 ballots to be removed. So again, it's just math. It's just not true. It's, it's provably not true. And by the way, in those 14 counties where they used Dominion voting equipment in Pennsylvania, the president took 52.5% of the vote. So again, 76% turnout. All the stuff is, we're seeing is, is nothing's really coming to fruition as, as a real issue. Uh, there was another uh, uh, election lawsuit that was uh, thrown out this morning in the Southern District. Um, so we anticipate our process to continue. We are about accuracy and we're about the process and we're about following the law. So as I said in the first conference that I did with y'all at the Capitol on last Wednesday, we're gonna follow the law and follow the process. You go through this county certification side and Floyd failed to do that before they um, began the audit. But then we have to go through the risk limiting audit, which in this case triggered the hand auditing of every single ballot. And once that's done, and we are very well on target for Wednesday night, so far as of about an hour ago, 4.3 million ballots have been, have been looked at and audited in the state of Georgia. Um, and that's a good record. Now, that's just the first half. That's the physical looking at it. Now they have to do quality control, com batch comparison, making sure that everything lines up and is the reality. But so far, from our checks with, the, um, uh, with Voting Works and, our, and the teams on the ground, Nothing is making us see uh, any substantive change in the outcome. It's verifying what we saw on election night. Um, what we are not going to do is we're not going to release piece by piece of this stuff because what you don't want to do is have people aiming at a target. So once it's all put together, we will then be releasing all that data. And our plan is to have a website with all the tally sheets up, all the backup documentation up, all the process up. And I've been so proud of watching these counties live stream these things. I mean, the very first one was Burke County they did a Facebook Live, and they're doing a really good job of being transparent and open. Um, so on those fronts, we feel pretty, um, what's the word, happy about where we're at on that front. We would like to be, we, we are still on path to make it to our, our Friday certification, which is vital to get the UACAVA ballots out on um, Saturday. So we are still aiming towards that target. We have no reason to believe that anything's coming to a point where it looks like it was really going to be substantive change in the outcome. The Floyd County situation was unfortunate. It was, you know, bad management practice. They, they just, we have an investigator to get to the bottom of what exactly happened, but that doesn't seem to be replicated anywhere else that we've seen so far. And that will change the vote count a little bit. it will make it from, you know, 14,155 down to 13,003 something. 